I built the clock to impress my teacher, but when I showed it to her, she thought it was a threat to her. So, so it was really sad that she took a wrong impression of it, and I got arrested for it later that day. The chief of the Irving, Texas Police Department says officers took Ahmed into custody because of the device's, quote, suspicious appearance. But by Wednesday, police announced there would be no charges filed against the 14-year-old. The follow-up investigation revealed the device apparently was a homemade experiment and there's no evidence to support the perception he intended to create alarm. The mayor of Irving defended the actions of both the school district and police, releasing a statement saying in part, I do not fault the school or the police for looking into what they saw as a potential threat. Still, the incident is fueling criticism and outrage on social media and plenty of words of encouragement for the team. It made me really happy to see all these people support me and support others. Support from high-profile names and companies. Reddit and Twitter have offered him internships. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg wrote that the future belongs to people like Ahmed, adding, Ahmed, if you ever want to come by Facebook, I'd love to meet you. Keep building. Even President Obama asked to meet him, tweeting, Cool clock, Ahmed. Want to bring it to the White House? The teen's story, even a topic on last night's Republican presidential debate. Part of this, do you ever see the discrimination part of it? Sure, I don't think a 14-year-old should ever get arrested for bringing a clock to school. Now, Ahmed was suspended for three days. It's unclear if he's going to return to the same school. He says he wants to transfer. As for the clock, police were initially holding on to it as evidence, but they tell us it is ready for Ahmed to pick it up. Jim? David Palmer is an Irving City councilman. David, looking at this case now, should the school and the city apologize to Ahmed? Uh, the police department and the schools uh, have tough jobs to do uh, already. And I think.